Hi, my name is James Cartwright, a.k.a. Hoss. Um, everybody calls me Hoss because of the Cartwright. And uh, <laughs> just one of those things I've kind of uh, grown into since uh, school anyway. A uh, couple things uh, I want to talk about. I actually started a diet and uh, wanted to talk about that. Um, why I started this channel was to talk about some projects some uh, life goals that I've got that I'm working on and uh, actually to create a little bit of accountability for myself. So uh, that's what this channel is about. So today's episode is going to be uh, about the carnivore diet, which is um, uh, I'm on my second day. So I've been through one full day of it. I'm about to go get something to eat for my second day. Happened to be in Panama and more about that later and about what I do and who I am. But uh, just to kind of give you an idea, um, my name is, again, James Cartwright. Uh, I'm a pilot. I fly freight. I fly 767 during the day. So uh, medical is something I'm definitely worried about. Um, uh, I have to do a medical every six months to be able to be an airline pilot. And even though I don't fly passengers, we, we are considered an airline pilot because we all fly under Part 121 FAA rules. So anyway, to get past that, uh, basically I was in IT for 25 years, um, five, six years ago, I decided to become an airline pilot. I've been flying in aviation since college, went to school for aeronautical engineering, um, and ended up in computer business. So for 25 years, I did that, got, uh, completely bored and, uh, uh, burnout in that uh, field. So I decided to get away from it and become an airline pilot. And uh, it's been one of the best choices I've made in my life. So um, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, currently live still in Nashville and in Florida, in the Florida Keys. Um, plan on retiring in the Florida Keys at some point. I'm not sure exactly when that time is going to be yet, but uh, love it. Love it down there. And uh, um, I, and I, I've enjoyed it f since 2010 now, um, since I first started going down to the Florida Keys. But, uh, anyway, again, what I do is I'm an airline pilot now. Um, I'm currently in Panama, the country, not Panama city, um, beach or Florida. I am in Panama, Panama city, the country. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's what I do. I've got plenty of hobbies. I still fly GA on a regular basis. I fly uh, small airplanes. I still fly. Uh, um, I have my current airplane I've got now is a Cessna 185 on, on Anfibs. Um, I'd be glad to share more of that to you um, in another episode. But anyway, that's uh, kind of a lot of my hobbies, camping, fishing, um, water. I love the ocean. Ever since I've started going to the ocean, uh, it's kind of like a feel gross in a lake now. But uh, anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I love the Keys so much. The water is so blue. Uh, the fishing is great. Um, and once you start fishing down there, um, fishing in a lake is kind of boring. Um, not that I've ever been an avid fisherman anyway. Um but long story short, uh, it's just, it changed my life as I started doing fishing down there. I'm a diver. Um, I'm a master diver. I have been diving probably for 13, 14 years now, actually longer than that. That's how long I've been certified, but, uh, grew up with a family at Dove. My dad was a Navy diver, um, Dove in the Navy and, uh, my brother started diving with him. Unfortunately, I never got the chance to dive with him, but I got to share aviation with him. So, uh, aviation was, he's the one that got me into aviation, come to think of it. Let's uh, talk about that for a minute. Um, when I was 10, he took me flying. He's a private pilot. Um, I started out as a private pilot when I was in college, got my private pilot license and, uh, did not plan on a career in aviation, but, uh, ended up there, um, so he took me flying when I was 10. So when I decided to go to college, uh, after some much, uh, kicking in the rear from my dad, 
It's basically either uh, you're going to pay rent or go to college. I said, okay, I'm going to college. And uh, he was a construction business owner and construction worker. He uh, uh, had me working for him since I was probably nine or 10 um, in the construction business. And I decided at uh, an early age that I did not want to do that for a living. Um, it's feast or famine and it's hard work and it's hard to keep up with some of the people that work for you, uh, in that business. So, um, anyway, outside of that, uh, I got into aviation when I went to school for aeronautical engineering, found a 172 on the ramp and, uh, bought it. Half the engine was in the back seat and was going to use it for a class project to put it together and learn about the aircraft and then get my license in it and sell it and make some money. Well, my dad uh, was at a point in time in his life, he was kind of wrapping up his career and wanted to get back in aviation too. So he approached me about using it as a project together, a father-son project and work on it together. And he had a power plant license and I didn't have an A&P at the time, which is airframe and power point. And uh, we could actually do that legally and put it together and uh, get it flying without anybody else other than getting it uh, back in annual uh, inspection, which requires a IA inspection authorization uh, on top of your A&P to be able to do the yearly inspections on a small plane like that. But uh, needless to say, we did that. We put it together. Started flying it, got my license. He got back into aviation and uh, uh, more on that in another episode as well. Um, uh, that was one of the things, my dad has passed now, but uh, that was one of the things that uh, was a highlight of my life, being able to share aviation. My passion with my dad um, for the years that I got to. Um, outside of that, uh, let's move on to... Uh, what this episode's about, and it's more about carnivore, um, a diet. I kept, um, had a curiosity about, you know, I could lose weight and gain it back, then lose weight and gain it back, and then trying to find something sustainable for myself um, for the long term. And I have yo yoed in, in my weight quite a bit. Right now I'm at about 285, 90 pounds. I haven't been on a scale in about a week or so. I meant to get on it yesterday when I started this, but my batteries were dead in the scale. Lucky me. Um, so anyway, that's my estimated weight right now from the last time I checked a couple weeks ago. Um, and uh, that's not sustainable for me to be able to continue to be an aviation pilot uh, well into my 60s, which the... 121 retirement age is 65. I would love to make it to 65 and be able to retire at 65 as a 121 uh, captain. I'm a captain on a 767 now. Um, I don't plan on going anywhere for the company I work for. I am happy where I'm at. So long story short, I would like to be able to make it to 65. It's the best part-time job I've ever had. I uh, work, uh, I'm lucky if I work half a month um, I am when I am working, I am away from home most of the time. And then the other half of the month I have free and he wouldn't want to love that type of situation and job other than it keeps you away from home. They don't pay me to fly the airplane. They pay me to stay away from home. Um, so that's my perspective in it. And I love this job. So I would like to keep it. And not only that, I want to be able to fly my small stuff well beyond my airline career, uh, into my seventies and, um, even up to my eighties where I hope I'm able to make eighties and be, be able to do that. Um, now getting insurance at 80 now is in, quite impossible. Uh, all the insurance companies want to, uh, throw you out for that now, but anyway, moving on. Um, why do I want to do the carnivore diet? Um, Let's talk about uh, where I heard it from. Um, there is a uh, couple of YouTube channels I recommend seeing. Um, Dr. Ken Berry is one of the uh, inspirational ones. Um, Dr. Sean Baker, um, or who are these guys that um, 
I guess our real um, um, enthusiasts, I'd say, or um, authorities in the in the uh, perspective of this diet, the carnivore diet, as well as keto, keto vor, and some other t- forms of it too, low carb, low carb lifestyle stuff like that. So I've kind of went through there. Dr. Anthony Shaffey is another one that I've recently started watching. Um, he's got a lot of good stuff on it. And those were some of the doctors that I started listening to, to kind of push myself into a better lifestyle and some of the benefits that all these people keep talking about uh, in the YouTube channels. And uh, I'll give you a few of those channels about the people that are actually living it and doing it that are not doctors that have kind of piqued my interest on why I should do this diet. Um, so, uh, Ferrigno is one of them, uh, Homestead Howe, Carrie and, uh, basically his whole family now is went carnivore and they are a, um, a homestead crew that started living on a homestead and was, uh, gardening. Uh, one of his daughters was complete vegetarian. Um, had a lot of health issues with that. And uh, in fact, uh, Kerry had a lot of health issues as well until he went carnivore and uh, he cleared up all his health issues, um, lost a lot of weight, is very healthy now and has become uh, a carnivore patriot. Um, and it's actually looking at doing a movie to assist people to learn about carnivore um, and the lifestyle and what it's done for his life. Uh, very inspiring. Um, uh, another one, uh, Lily Kane. Uh, she uh, has got a pretty active channel and about the carnivore, carnivorous lifestyle. So that's a lot of the uh, channels that I want to mention now, although there are many, many, many more. Um, so let's kind of get to the, uh, the why I chose to do this. Um, and again, I'm doing this whole thing here just uh, to help keep me accountable to um, push myself and to give my experiences for others as I experience it. So uh, that was one of the things uh, Frigno did. He uh, started from day one and documented his journey. He's over two years in the carnivore um, lifestyle now. And the transformation in that guy is unbelievable. So, uh, again, why am I doing it? Weight is the primary motivation. I've got to get rid of some weight. Uh, That's the bottom line. Uh, Weight, the uh, health effects of that weight. Um, Diabetes runs in my family. I had a little bit of a scare here recently. Um, uh, My last year's numbers, uh, lab numbers showed I was looking at pre-diabetes, um, my A1C number as a matter of fact. Um, so I decided, uh, I've got to do something. So I've cut back, I try to lose some weight, try to cut back on the sweets. And yes, I have a sweet tooth. It's terrible. Um, it's, it's as addictive as anything I've ever, it's probably the most addictive thing in my life is sugar and bread. Um, bread is the hardest thing to get rid of. Sugar is probably the second hardest thing. And I'm trying to get rid of all that in my life. Um, uh, so weight's the primary motivation, getting rid of some medication. I'm medicating with, um, right now I am taking blood pressure medicine. I can't think of the name of it. Uh, and, um, bad about taking it, but I try when I remember. In fact, I got to take it today because I haven't taken it in a couple days. Uh, So when I get off the medication, I have fatty liver that runs in my family. Uh, I do have a diagnosis of fatty liver and I want to get rid of that. That is another benefit that uh, Dr. Ken Berry talked about. And I want to get rid of that out of my life and not have to deal with that anymore. My girlfriend is uh, we're sick about me over that, and she she uh, don't know what to think about it either. Um, inflammation. This weekend, after uh, I'm spending some time with her, and she has a sweet tooth too, um, I have done some sweets and some foods that I pr- 
probably shouldn't be eating. And I have really paid for it with inflammation this past weekend. I can really tell it, especially in my feet. Um, I had one foot, um, if I wasn't exercising and on it, um, and I was off of it for a period of time. I can tell when I stepped back down on the floor and got my feet down on a hard concrete floor at my house, like in the Florida Keys, it was hurting. And uh, I know some people call it gout. I haven't been diagnosed with any of it. I haven't talked to a doctor about any of it, but I have talked about the effects of gout and some of the diet and how that comes on and kind of feels like that. I don't know if it is or if it's just inflammation. I don't know. Um, mood is another big uh, benefit, benefit that uh, a lot of people have talked about. Um, and, you know, today is unprecedented on how many people are taking mood altering drugs. And uh, it's an epidemic. Uh, and just think about it. It's if we're putting all this junk in our body, then why would that not affect our mood? Um, especially when it comes to our body having to process all the chemicals and stuff that's in our food today. So um, I want to improve my mood. I want to improve my stamina. I want to improve um, uh, definitely stamina in other areas of my life, which comes back to medication. I've recently had to start taking some medication for stamina for the better. Um, so that's kind of, deflating on the ego. And if you're a guy, I think you can understand that. Um, I'm 50. I didn't mention that earlier. Uh, I'll be 51 this year, actually next month. And uh, I want to rid myself of that if possible. Uh, testosterone I checked on my labs. We'll look at my labs here in a minute. Um, and that's one of the things that I want to uh, improve. So, uh, Blood work. Let's move to the blood work. I actually have some with me here. Let's move that here. And let's go through that. Uh, if you can see here, uh, everything looks pretty good except my ALT. If you look at the ALT, it is out of range. 5 and 50 is a normal range. And mine shows 71 here. So at 71... Uh, the ALT number, it's high. That is due to my fatty liver. Uh, my cholesterol has never been a problem. Um, that's one of the things that uh, good old genetics has uh, handed down to me. Luckily, as you can see, my cholesterol total is 104. Um, the problem with my cholesterol being low is my good cholesterol is low as well. And there's some debate on uh, cholesterol numbers and stuff like that and what's good and what's not. Um, but my HDL has been trending low for most of my life. Um, as you can see, it's 35, and that's not good. So I uh, definitely want to move a little further past that and up that a little bit. My testosterone came back at 443, which is not that bad, um, especially for a middle-aged guy like me. I'm not sure why i had to recently start taking the uh vitamin c um other than my weight maybe some uh circulation issues that uh definitely comes along with high blood pressure and uh libido in the bedroom area but my testosterone is not bad so and i'm not taking any testosterone uh supplements or anything right now in fact i'm not taking any supplements at all um, I kind of, kind of quit that here, um, just, uh, recently to, uh, I guess just to see what all my numbers look like naturally without, uh, anything, uh, pumping anything up. So, uh, as we talked about A1C numbers, I am back down in the normal range, as you can see here, 4.2 to 5.6 is your normal range mine is 5.5 i got as high as 5.8 last year so i wanted to uh get that down back in the normal i'm still not happy with this number i would like to see it go south even more especially in my family um this glucose number also being 111 i would like to see that below 100 so especially since it runs in my family i would like to see that go away so that is my labs and 
I definitely want to uh, improve those numbers and, uh, and my weight and my overall health. So that's why I'm doing it. So back to uh, me again, a summary. I guess it's pretty self-obvious at this point on why I want to do it and what I want to gain from it. And um, going into day two now after my first day, my first day, I ate uh, eggs. I did have some cheese with my eggs because I love scrambled eggs with cheese, particularly cheddar. I try to buy the good cheddar. So um, uh, I try to buy the best cheddar I can in a grocery mart anyway. Because uh, I know cheese is uh, can be one of those things that you can get some bad cheese or you can get some pretty good cheese. And anything processed is not good, but uh, as I've learned, but uh, cheese, I, I love my eggs. So cheese and bacon is pretty much what I've had yesterday, or eggs, cheese, and bacon yesterday. Um, and I ended up having, uh, last night before I went to bed, I had some yogurt low carb yogurt and which is an animal product of course and uh a protein shake just so i because i really didn't have any protein to eat like steak or anything that i could cook at home uh, i didn't want to get out and eat something so i uh, had that last night before i went to bed i didn't eat the eggs and bacon until about i think it was three o'clock yesterday i finally got hungry and wanted to eat something and again, this hunger thing is something else I'm kind of working on. Um, mental hunger versus physical hunger. That is something I've struggled with as well. I mean, I think about wanting to eat, but me wanting, my body wanting to eat, I don't get a whole lot of physical hunger pains. Um, not very often. So that's one of the things I'm trying to experiment with as well uh, is when do I want to actually eat and uh, how often am I going to actually be really hungry? So I'm looking at that as well, um, kind of just listening to my body when I'm hungry. Uh, although I'm going to eat tonight, I'm going to eat a steak or something like that or some sort of beef tonight. Um, plan on doing that, I'm going somewhere. It looks like it's raining out now down here in Panama, but I'm going to find somewhere to go eat and uh find a steak, at least eat that for today, and then see how that goes. Um, just in the past, I've done uh, water fast. Uh, I do like doing water fast because I think it's very therapeutic for the mind and the body. And that's something that I want to do more of again. And I haven't done one in a while, uh, but I definitely have that planned as well, um, just to kind of give you a heads up. I've the longest water fast I've done now is 14 days and that's water only, nothing else. No, uh, not even coffee. I just started drinking coffee last year, um, supposedly for the health benefits for it. And as getting a little older, feeling like I'm needing a little boost in the morning to get going. I used to never drink coffee. Didn't rate, wasn't raised in a coffee drinking family, but, uh, have really kind of latched onto it. And, uh, I actually enjoyed getting up in the morning with my girlfriend and uh, drinking coffee with her um, as a social thing in the morning, just something we do together when we're together. Um, but anyway, that's uh, that's kind of it for now. So about to go get something to eat. I'll check back in tomorrow with my next vlog um, on how day two went and how I'm feeling so far. Um, not much change. I uh, haven't ate anything today at all just drank water and as is right now it is 6 37 p.m central time um so i plan on going to get something to eat with my first officer at seven o'clock we've talked about getting a steak somewhere so that's all i'm doing for now but outside of that that's uh going to be the end of day one and we'll talk again during day two thanks for looking at my video and uh primarily uh heck Hope to find some accountability partners out of this or maybe inspire somebody else to get healthy. Um, I'm definitely tired of feeling like I'm getting older and older, especially um, prior to 
my time to get feeling like this. So, um, again, James Cartwright, a.k.a. Hoss, signing off. Talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day.